Hi guys, so what I have here is the CarCam K2000 unit. Uh, this is also known as HD Car DVR. Uh, it's just a little black box system you mount on your windshield so you can record what you are, what you see when you're driving. So today we're going to do the unboxing of this and here I have a SD card uh, for this unit. It doesn't come with it. So let's take a look at what's in the box. So the first thing you see is the actual camera, so let's get that out here. Really small, really tiny, discrete unit. And in the box you'll see a suction cup mount, a car charger, this is a typical USB adapter, 5 volt, goes directly into your cigarette lighter. A USB cable for transferring video pictures over to your computer and a HDMI cable to hook it up to your TV and of course the standard user manual. So today we'll be focusing on the unit itself so let's take it out. So this is a really nice unit, a really small, really simple, discreet and yet it records HD video. And this is how the mount goes on. Just a little latch, you latch into it, give it a nice push. Here, click, and there's it, really secure. All these are adjustable, so you can adjust the angle, fine tune it the way you want it. Okay. This is a little flip down monitor, so you can actually see what you're recording or for instant playback. So, Let's go ahead and take a look at the, all the buttons on the side here. Here you have the HDMI output, and the power button, menu, different mode of the camera. Yes, picture mode, video mode, playback mode, that's where the SD card goes. Uh, some other buttons here, and uh, DC in, so this is the power. And also where the USB cable would go if you want to hook up to your computer. In the front, this is the actual lens, uh, you can rotate up and down, 180 degrees actually, all the way up, all the way down as well. And these two little yellow dots here are the, are the LCD light, or LED light, sorry about that. Uh, this unit actually have a built-in battery, so we can actually turn it on right now by pressing this button here. You can see a blue light. Now as you can see, it's turned on. It says internal memory full, so definitely want to put an SD card in there. It accepts the micro SD card. So I do recommend using a class 10 SD card just because you're recording high definition file. You want to make sure the right speed is fast enough. Alright, so let's take a quick look here guys. So here you go. This is the actual camera. You can see that it's recording as 1080p. Perfect. This little monitor here, you can actually flip it around 180 degree. You can even record yourself if you want. Usually, I would just uh, leave it like this. There's actually also a recording mode that allows you to do a close lit recording. So, if you press this button here, turn off the monitor, recording is still going. However, you can just flip the monitor down, doesn't block your sight. You can enable it again. This little button here, activate the LED light. And there you go. The purpose of this, I guess, is to um, give you more exposure to your video at a low light condition. But I find it kind of useless because your windshield is going to bounce back all the light for you. And make it very glary. Let's shut it off. Uh, when you hit the OK button here, it will actually toggle start and stop recording, as you can tell by the little red dot on the top there. Okay. And on the side you got the mode, which as I mentioned, it toggles between picture, uh, picture, and picture mode, digital camera mode, and a playback menu, and also the recording mode. So three modes for you to choose from. So now let's take a look at the menu here. So the first thing you'll see is resolution. So as I mentioned, this is an HD camera. It can support 1080. It also support 
720p and 480 I'll definitely recommend leaving it at 1080 at all times just so you can actually get the sharpest video uh, at all time you can actually see the license plate of the other vehicle okay there's loop recording meaning that um, it, you don't have to format the memory card you don't have to take out old files it will automatically take out old files and record new one for you here you can actually set the interval of each clips so what I have here is set is a five minutes clip. So every clips in the video are gonna be five minutes in length. You can customize it to be three or ten minutes. Uh, this motion detection. I don't use this function a lot, but this is mainly for when your vehicle is turned off. Uh, you're not in a car. You just want to see what happened and what what kind of people walk past. Then you can definitely leave it on date and timestamp that's really important because you want to make sure your video have um, the information about what time is it which date is it uh, so when you use it for evidence this is gonna come in handy all right uh, let's set the menu button one more time so now there's another menu here uh, date and time setting power off uh, I actually like to leave the power off button off right now I don't know. Okay, you can actually set it default to be two minutes. So there you go. The ping sound languages, frequency, TV mode, NTSC and PAL setting for those in the Asia country, uh, for those in North America. Image rotation. This will allow you to use the camera as a dashboard mount so instead of sucking it up to the uh, windshield you can actually glue it to a dashboard and use it like this pretty neat okay that's about all the settings there to it so, as I mentioned it's a really simple unit uh, that's what it uh, that's what it does um, do its job right so there's it guys this is the car cam k2000 oh one thing though there are a lot of other cameras that looks exactly like this one out there you can tell from the outside so i'm just going to show you a picture here um, this is the one that i took it apart and i take a picture of the process central processor in there to show you what chip is being used all right so that's it Thank you very much, and I hope you guys enjoy it.